Ooh, this is a good one. My boy, James Stefani Sterling of the Gym Position has made it to the big leagues. He is out protesting in the United Kingdom for justice or whatever the fuck. And he got interviewed. So let's listen to what James, what wisdom James has to impart on the world. Um, such horrific. So first of all, um, Jim had lost a lot of weight and it appears that he's gained it all back. Uh, the other thing to mention is how fucking disgusting uh, that thing interviewing him is. Like, okay, there's so much going on with just this frame that it's kind of hard to put into words. Like, yes. Jim is fat. Uh, that other guy is also fat and dumpy and gross. And I love how you can see the bra outlines that he's wearing for his man tits. I love how it's so, it's so obviously man tits too. Like they're just pointing completely outwards and there's like a huge, like shallow, uh, valley between them because they're outward pointing man tits and not like actual breast. Uh, I love how you can see his gunt, like his, he's wearing like a tight fitting shirt that like perfect, perfectly forms to his gunt to the point where you can even see like the outline of his belly button because it's so tight. I like how, despite the fact that this goblin is so disgusting, Jim standing next to him is like somehow outdoes him because not only is Jim himself fat and dumpy, he also has those um those British Winston Churchill jowls which are like the Trident's kids are real real girls and real little boys. We need to get hormones to all of them. Like that kind of like British jowl shit. And like cause he's getting older, he's getting like like um a saggy face, kind of like a Brianna Wu face. He has a very Brianna Wu face, but when you go downwards like Brianna Wu was tall, but Jim's also tall, but also very big and he's filling back out. So it's like you have this six foot six ogre next to a dumpy freak and they're talking about trans kids and shit. And I, I haven't even allowed Jim to get his point across. There's one thing in particular that I know I want to point out. Uh, uh, bills as one in, I believe, Missouri that wants to uh, raise the age of any form of medical care for trans people to the age of 25. Shout out to Missouri and the Midwest fighting the good fight. Um, because their brains aren't developed yet, uh, which is not uh, a requirement to join, say, the military or any other life-saving, uh, life, sorry, life-changing um, um, uh, activity. Activity or, or, or goal, um, that's perfectly fine. Uh, obviously, it includes um, genital inspections for children. This is something that a number of Republican lawmakers have been incredibly interested in. Um, I wonder why. Yeah, nominally to. So the um, the the truons who are sick of being called child pedophile groomers because they try to find little kids that are socially isolated and lure them into a life of drugs and porn addiction. They're really upset that they're being called groomers, so now they'd like to turn it around and say, uh, actually, it's conservatards who are the real groomers because they want penis inspection day. Today, chat, I will remind you what penis inspection day is. There are laws on the books in states like Missouri and other states um, that are trying to get rid of the tranny kid shit that's happening. And penis inspection day is something that happens when there is, I think I've phrased this very eloquently the last time. Penis inspection day is when um, a little boy is, or a little girl is sus and a emergency meeting is called by the parents and they vote that this uh, little girl is in fact sus. So they, um, they will traitor test him by having him go to a medical professional doctor like a general practitioner to get a certification that this little girl is in fact a little girl and not a little boy um in disguise uh so that is how that works it is not literally okay okay little susie let's see if you got a penis whip it out um you know conducted by like the the coach or whatever that's fucking retarded um, keep um, assigned male at birth uh, trans women out of sports um, but there's a there's a far deeper and darker um, not just what's on the surface that's deep and dark about 
the desire to inspect the genitals of children, but also to police where we can and can't go. Uh, this is a huge part of it. It started with bathrooms um, years and years and years ago and uh, moved on to um, keeping trans women out of sports. Um, with an intense focus on trans women, thereby erasing um, trans men, uh, gender non-conforming people, non-binary people such as myself. Um, this, this intense focus on trans women, um, keeping them out of sports, then that moved on to save the children rhetoric, telling lies about children, uh, talking about how they have uh, gender reassignment surgery um, at a preteen age, things that are just blatant. That's true, though. The there are hospitals that do genital surgeries on preteen children. Um, so to say that that doesn't happen is a lie. Not true. Um, then that moved on to things like puberty blockers, which uh, are obviously very reversible. They are not uh, this. Uh, they are not reversible. Life-altering death sentence. Your skin so doesn't just start melting off. No, no, absolutely not. Um, in fact, I can confirm that HRT makes your skin wonderful. Um, <laughs> absolutely fabulous, darling. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I it's, love that skin. Mm. I love that. I want this interview broadcasted nationally. I want every single person on the planet forced to watch this. I want to see like the the crown prince of saudi arabia like strapped to a chair and forced to watch this yeah. um yeah my, my husband's jealous <laughs> um so yeah and it, it moved on to things like we've seen in i believe it's florida where they want to ban even social transition now it's gone beyond the excuse that they're just trying to stop uh, medical care for children they now want social transition gone uh, and then we have um, very prominent members of the um, TERF gender critical um, ideology now openly talking about reducing our numbers like they're running pest control on us. Uh, this is not, this is fascism. Yeah. Uh, this is. Gen okay. I once again must be pedantic. Fascism is a national ideology about putting a specific group of people, usually the the people of the country, ahead of other people in other countries. That is the core tenet of fascism. It's a thing that existed in all countries before the 1950s. Uh, it is not fascism to say that we need to destroy trannies. It's not. It's a, I, I don't know what you would really call that. Transmedia, I guess. It is not fascism. I wish people would stop. I wish people would stop it, okay? Genocidal rhetoric, uh, and the end goal is to police us out of existence. It started with bathrooms because it sets the precedent that we have spaces God, where please. we are not allowed. Where, where we, our presence is a problem. Yes, where femme presenting people, where trans women, where um, femme non-binary people, where gender fluid people aren't welcome. And the moment you establish that acceptability, you begin the domino chain of consequences. Let's establish that with the entire world. I love, thank you, Jim Stefani Sterling, for your fascinating presentation on American politics. Could you please explain what the fuck that has to do with the United Kingdom? I really don't understand. Last I heard, prominent turfs were being arrested at their homes because they said mean things on Twitter. Not even because they said mean things on Twitter, because they were alleged to have said mean things on Twitter. Um, when that starts, if there were ever a situation where trannies were being arrested for saying tranny shit about creepy tranny shit about little kids on Twitter, there would be like a national international crisis. But no, they actually do literally just round people up and arrest them in the United Kingdom. Oh, speaking of, um, oh, she gave me dates. Let me check real quick. After. Next week, maybe as soon as Friday next week, I'll be having my interview with Carolyn Farrow, who uh, uh, is effectively being run out of the country because she's being harassed by a fucking uh, insane person. So uh, I will be talking to her at some point. I'm going on a date. She's she's happily married, Chad. Don't you worry. I'm not going anywhere. 
chat will always be my precious number two no you're not you're not fighting for anybody's attention here thank you for watching this clip this is the cac remember to like and subscribe